And I'd like to welcome y'all back to another episode of Tippy's Midwest Cooking Show. And today, I'm going to try something that I've never tried before. And I was just thinking the other day, you know, maybe it could be good. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to be making spicy habanero chocolate barbecue pork ribs. Alright, so to start this out, you know, you're going to need your pork ribs, of course. And I already took it upon myself to mix up the spicy habanero barbecue sauce. And you're going to need some chocolate syrup. Alright, so for this, you know, we're also always, you know, I always love using my applewood rub. So we're going to use a little bit of that too. Just got to get my chocolate open. Make sure it's completely open. Yeah, alright. Alright, so just like any other, you know, barbecue sauce recipe where you want to add something else to it, it's the same exact thing, you know. It's one cup barbecue to a quarter cup of whatever you're adding. So we're going to start out just by rubbing the ribs. Just like so. I'm move that over a little for you guys. All right. Just like so. And we're going to toss that one into our crock pot. And we're going to move on to the next one. Just like so. And this one, it's a bigger rib. Oh, I almost spilt that all over the place. That was close. Alright, so you're going to flip it. That's quite a bit. I'll just pour that over some of the others. Just get it all nice and rubbed in. Alright, that one's rubbed. Now you gonna flip it. Shake a little more on, just like that. Toss that one into your crock pot. And I don't know, you know, I was just thinking one day about, you know, what different things could go, you know, with barbecue sauce, you know, just to make new flavors. And I thought about it and I was like, well, you know, Sweet and salty usually do go together. And, you know, with me making that donut burger the other day, you know, what better thing to try than, you know, something with chocolate and barbecue sauce. And I couldn't decide if I was going to do beef or if I was going to do ribs. Well, I decided, you know, I should probably do ribs just because, you know, it would take on the barbecue taste a lot better than um, than beef would and it's a lot more tender so and juicy so I figured you know it'd be perfect some chocolate barbecue pulled pork you know, sandwiches or just eat the ribs as they are alright so now that that's done I'm gonna take Our chocolate syrup and our measuring cup and we're gonna fill that quarter cup all the way up do it without trying to spill I might even you know add a little more because not everybody here or you know anybody that I share food with in general is a fan of habaneros so I figure you know I should probably try to kill that taste a little you know yeah a little bit of spicy is good but when people don't want to eat it that's a little that's a little overboard in my book so we'll just do like another half You want to 
get it off. And I just shot chocolate all over myself. I'm pretty good at this. It's kind of messy, but whatever. Alright, then we're going to take our whisk. And we're just going to whisk it on in. Mmm, that smells really good. Alright, well, here's to the first time of ever making something with chocolate and barbecue sauce. Alright, so I'm going to pull my crock pot forward, just like so for you guys. A little more, alright. I'm going to grab my brush. Alright, now that we got our brush, we're just going to pour that over the top. Just like so. I'm going to grab a different spatula real quick. Just rinse it off. So now that we got our other spatula, it'll make it'll make life ten times easier on us. Mmm, that smells so good. That's like a perfect combination of barbecue sauce and chocolate syrup. Alright, so then you're just gonna take your brush and just make sure it gets all over every single piece. And then I'm going to cook this, you know, just like I would any other of six to eight hours on low. Alright, so as you see, we got that in there. Just like so. And if need be, later on I'll, you know, add some more barbecue sauce. Alright, so like I said, we're going to put this on low. I'm going to toss this lid on here. Grab my cord. Plug it in. Turn it to low in 6 to 8 hours. So it is 10.30 right now. So 6 hours from now would be 4 o'clock. And 8 hours from now would be 6 o'clock. Well, 4.30 and 6.30. Alright, so I'll see y'all back just to show you guys the ending results. Alright, thank you for watching. Alright, it's officially 7 o'clock, so it's been 8 and a half hours. And it's finally done. Pull the lid off it there for you. Mm, you can smell the mixture of the barbecue and the chocolate. It's got an amazing almost light chocolate color to it. As you can see, it's got that white chocolate color to it. So we're just going to throw that on the plate. And then also I've got some Parmesan and Herb Angel Hair Pasta. Alright, so that's what you get when you combine spicy habanero barbecue sauce with Hershey's syrup and pork ribs so like i said that's what you get when you combine spicy habanero barbecue sauce and hershey's chocolate syrup with pork ribs all right so thank you again for watching y'all and i'll just you know give y'all one more look at it before i before i leave y'all to go eat 
All right, thank you. Like always, like it, comment it, share it. Tell me what you think. If you guys got recipes that you want me to make, let me know. All right, well, remember, that's what you get. Thank you for watching another episode of Tippy's Midwest Cooking Show. Y'all have a great night. I'm going to go eat.